Hi guys, so I have some pretty exciting news. I'm kind of in the New York Times. <laughs> if you've been following me on Twitter, Facebook, um, even Tumblr, then you may have noticed that I've been tweeting like crazy that myself as well as some of my other fabulous friends who are bloggers are in the New York Times. The article came out last Thursday, November 8th. Here it is. There's Nicolette of NicolettMason.com and there's Chastity of Garner Style. Yeah, both amazing ladies also mentioned in the article. Gabby from Gabby Fresh, Tiffany from Fat Shopaholic, myself, a whole bunch of amazing young women. And the article talks about plus size bloggers and how we are um, putting it out there that fat women can be fashionable and you know the options aren't as vast as they are for straight sizes but we're making it work and hopefully um, designers and retailers will catch on. The article was written by Marissa Meltzer. Um, she wrote a fabulous piece. I need to thank her because she did a wonderful job. That morning that it was available in print, I went to Starbucks before work and I picked up two copies. So I went up to the barista and I was like, can I have a tall white peppermint mocha? Oh, and I'm also in the paper. And she was like, what? And I said, yeah, look. And so I turned to the page and I showed her and she was like, oh my God, that's awesome. People locally got word of it, um, aside from my friends and family, that they also printed it in the Sunday edition of the Fresno Bee. See, there's Gabby, and then here's the same article. Um, and then because, you know, it's in the Fresno Bee, they highlighted my quote right here. I should probably read you guys my quote, um, and here it is. Discussing weight is unavoidable, but not taboo. People around me get uncomfortable when I refer to myself as fat, said Amanda Valdez, 27, of Fresno. She writes for the blog Fashion Love and Martinis. I embrace the word fat. Fat does not define me. It doesn't define my character or where I've been in my life. I am just another girl who is posting about her life and style and I happen to be fat. I didn't know that she was going to use that quote, um, but I'm very happy that she did because one of my goals is really to help diminish um, the word fat as a negative word, as a slur, as a hate word towards others. Fat doesn't bother me. Trolls call me fat all the time on YouTube and I'm like, what whatevs? <laughs> really, what are you doing? Yeah, you're calling me fat. Obviously, I'm fat. But like I said, fat doesn't define who I am whatsoever. Fat doesn't show you my character, my personality. All it does is describe that, yeah, I'm big. I'm just so happy that plus size fashion and bloggers are getting a spotlight in the New York Times and creating this conversation that needs to be had about being plus size, about plus size fashion options, and so much more. The article is still available online. I will link to that below. Um, read it. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them here or on my blog. I would love to hear what you have to think. And... Um, just thank you. Thank you to the New York Times and Marissa Meltzer for including me in this fabulous article. And thank you for watching my videos, reading my blog, commenting, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. I truly do appreciate it and my blog would not be the same without you. So thank you. I will see you guys soon. And until then, take care. Bye.